Good morning. Hi, McDowell County. I don't know if you can see or hear me. This is my second attempt. I'm having a very hard time getting me to work for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, 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 let's see. My name is Miss Rhodes. I'm the music teacher at Nebo Elementary School, and I'm hoping to make your day today a little more fun and a little more interesting. Even though I'm late and I may run out of time, I'm going to do the best I can on this. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about some instrument families and send you guys on an instrument scavenger hunt and make sure you know that just because you're not sitting in the classroom or you're not in a music room, that does not mean that you can't play instruments, um, play along with some of the great songs that are being posted here and on some of the other uh, school websites. I know Mr. Moore has some great songs that he's been posting on the West Marion site. If you could check that out on YouTube, it's actually their YouTube page for West Marion. Um, so today, and I'm feeling a little flustered because I, I've had a hard time getting this to work, so you'll have to excuse me. This is my like third time doing this, trying to do this. So um, we're going to start out talking about some instrument families. I'm going to give you guys a second to see if you can think of how many instrument families there are that we're going to talk about today. Good. If you said four, then you're right. Hopefully my students have remembered that because we spent quite a while doing um, instrument families so far this school year. So we're going to talk about four instrument families. I'm going to give you a chance to think about them, see if you can name all four of those families. Okay, so we have strings, woodwind, brass, and percussion. So those are the four instrument families that we're going to kind of just talk about a little bit today before we start talking about what kind of instruments that we might be able to use or find around your house. Um, we're going to start with the strings family and the string instruments. Um, they make their sound um, by the vibration of the strings, which can be made with a bow or um, a pick, you could use your fingers on some of those or pluck some of those string instruments. So I'm gonna give you just a second to think about how these string instruments make their sound. Can you think of three instruments that would go into the strings family? Okay, I know probably the first one everyone thought of was guitar. That's the first one I think of. Um, the other two I thought of pretty quickly were the harp and the violin. And I do have, somewhere a poster with some string instruments so here's um, some string family instruments here that you may have not thought of some of the instruments on that um, then Thank you for supporting me because I need it today. I'm very nervous. Um, the next family that we mentioned was the woodwind family. Um, the woodwind instruments, they make their noise, their sound by having wind or your breath um, blown into the instrument. A lot of the woodwind instruments, they use at least one reed. Some of them may use a double reed. Um, so the woodwind instruments, you blow into those. And I'm going to give you a second to see if you can think of some instruments that would go in the woodwind family. Um, my favorite is the clarinet. I was clarinet girl, so um, clarinet is one woodwind instrument. One that we use a lot in our school is a recorder. We have a recorder club. Um, so the recorder is a woodwind instrument that we use a lot. And I have a poster with a few examples of woodwind instruments. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm having to use my computer and I prefer my phone because I can tell what what's being shown in my phone better. So those were some woodwind instruments. There was saxophone, you know, some clarinet, a flute is a woodwind instrument. Um, the woodwind instruments usually now they're not really made of wood. They're made of other materials, but they used to be um, pretty much all made of, of wood. But they've come a long way since then. So we have um, some materials that they use that like polymer kind of resin kind of stuff that they use for those. Um, the next instrument family that I listed that we're going to talk about. Yes, Ms. Latner, the flute is one. The next instrument family that we're going to talk about is the um, brass family. 
and the brass family your lips kind of are used as the reed in the brass family um so you have a little round metal mouthpiece and your lips kind of buzz into that and the vibration of your lips buzzing into that kind of helps create the sound as you push the air through those brass instruments um, maybe you have a favorite brass instrument. I know a lot of people like the brass family. They make a loud sound. A lot of those do. So think of maybe what your favorite brass instrument might be. And I'm going to go with the one that I know is Mr. Wilson at East McDowell Middle School. I know this is his favorite brass instrument. Um, I cannot play it, but I love to watch it played. Um, his favorite instrument is the trombone. And I love the slide, the way you can slide that back and forth to make cool sounds with that. That's my favorite brass instrument. Um, I have a poster with some other brass instruments on there. The tuba is a good one. I know a lot of people like that big sound that the tuba makes. And the last instrument family that we're going to talk about is the percussion family. Um, this is probably my students' favorite instrument family. It's the one that we use the most in my music room, of course. And um, percussion instruments, they can be played by being shaken. Um, they can be struck with your hand. You can use mallets, drumsticks, different kinds of things like that for percussion instruments. The cool thing about percussion instruments is um, some percussion instruments actually can play different musical notes on those. Um, those are called pitched percussion. So um, one that I could think of right offhand would be a xylophone. Um, another one you could think of would be, I know I have some students that take piano classes, so a piano is one of those. It's, um, it's a percussion instrument that you can kind of play a melody on, so there's different pitches that you can use. Um, the ones that we use the most in my classroom are unpitched percussion instruments um, and there are a lot of those that we use maybe you could think of one they can't you can't play a melody on those they don't have a different um, pitch of sound as you play those um, Landon says a saxophone I'm not sure I think that came in a little late <laughs> Is saxophone his favorite woodwind instrument? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I think that one came in a little late or I just saw it. Um, so think of some of maybe your favorite percussion instruments. I know a lot of my kids love drum kits. They love to see like a rock and roll drum kit. Of course, I don't have that in the music room, so we make do with some other things. My favorite unpitched percussion that we use is um, our rhythm sticks. Just kidding. He says it's a woodwind. It is a woodwind. It has a reed. That saxophone is in the woodwind family. Good job, little L. <laughs> um, the rhythm sticks are my favorite unpitched percussion that we use in the classroom because we can do so many different things with those. Um, they're really good for keeping a steady beat during a song. If you don't have a metronome and you want um, to keep a steady beat, then um, the rhythm sticks are a good thing for that. But another thing that I love to do with rhythm sticks in the classroom is to have the students play um, like a four beat rhythm pattern on their rhythm stick. And then everyone else has to try to figure out what that rhythm pattern was. And that's a really fun game that you could play at home with your family. And so we. Um, I'll go over that a little bit more when I show you some of the instruments that I have. So that was my last um, instrument family that I wanted to go over with you guys. And now the fun part, I'm going to show you what I came up with for my instrument scavenger hunt. I wanted to find some of the things that are, how do I make this work? That are my kids' favorite instruments to use inside the classroom. Okay. So I have egg shakers, maracas, castanets, rhythm sticks, sand blocks, a hand drum, and bongos are some of their favorite things to use in my classroom. So I did my best to just kind of quickly go around the house. I did not have a lot of time to put into this, not the amount of time that I would have liked to have had. But I quickly ran around the house to see what I could find to use as an example for some of these instruments that you guys might could do at home. So I have um, just a little Tupperware container. And I had some rice that I put some rice in there. And this is my egg shaker. 
So it's a soft sound. It's not going to hurt your ears. It's not too loud. You can do it even kind of hard and it's still not too loud. So that's a good a good egg shaker. You could also use um, a small water bottle or um, a soda bottle, maybe even a baby food jar container from baby food or something like that and just put a little bit of rice or something similar. You could probably even use like some small dried beans, something like that. So that's a good way to make um, an egg shaker. My next one was not very creative, but it works. So if you've been going to your local elementary school and hey, Miss McCombs, if you've been going to your local elementary school to pick up your meals, um, then you have become very familiar with these. So this is just a plastic container of cereal. And I decided that two of these would make wonderful maracas. So those are my maracas. Um, I'm sure you can find something better around your house that would be a better example of a maraca, maybe even something that actually has a stick on it. But these are my maracas and I like them. So um, there's one of my unpitched um, percussion. The next one, the next one was the hardest one for me because the next one is one that my students really love to use. They're very cool. Um, we like to call them our little pack men and it's the castanets. And I've had a really hard time trying to think of something great to use as a castanet. And so, um, Miss Leitner, I do have some bongos. Bongos are coming. Be patient. Um, I, I do have some castanets here. They're, they're not fancy. I'm not going to lie. So these are clothespins. And these are my castanets. So you can see that you can just kind of, they're fun. They're very quiet. Can you hear those? Ashley, can you hear those? Okay, so they're very quiet, but they're really fun to use. So I think they're good. They're not, it's not too bad for just going around the house and trying to find something quickly. Um, those are my castanets. Um, let's see, the next thing on my list was the ribbon sticks, which I love. And I went into my son's room and I found this giant Christmas pencil. And then I had another giant pencil. And hey, Joe Dog. And these are my rhythm sticks. This has a little thing, so I have to hold it here. Um, makes a good sound. See, I told you, it's a great instrument to keep a steady beat. Thank you, Miss McCombs. I'm glad you could hear my castanets. <laughs> so this is great for a steady beat. This is also great if you wanted to practice some rhythm patterns at home and see if you can trick your family and see if they can guess what these are. So I'm going to start with like a simple one that we would use in my class. I know little L is watching, so I hope he knows what that is. I'm going to do it one more time. Ta, 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 dee, ta. So those are our rhythm sticks, and I'm pretty sure I'm already out of time. I'm going to get Miss Latner's bongo. So I have a large coffee can and a small coffee can. Those are my bongos. Um, you can do something different at home if you have something a little better than that. Um, I have my hand drum right here. This is a can of Pringles. It's a small can. I could also take a pencil and use like the eraser. Makes a great drum. And you can experiment with some different some different things at your house, some different size boxes. I've lost mine. I have an empty box of Special K right here and some graham crackers here. And I found some chopsticks in my kitchen drawer. So there's um, some drums you can use to play along with some songs. Um, my sand blocks don't make fun of me. I have a um, bottle brush and a vegetable cleaning brush. These are my sand blocks. It's a cool sound. It was a fast thing to come up with, but it's a cool sound. You can also use body percussion. If you um, don't have or don't have the time to quickly go through and, and do an instrument scavenger hunt, but you want to play along with some music, don't forget, we always have pat. You can pat your lap, clap, snap, stomp, which you can't hear me stomp because I'm on carpet. Um, but another thing that you could do for the sand blocks is this. Just kind of rub your hands together. That makes a good sound for sand blocks as well. 
Um, I hope that you have time to go online. There are some great ideas for making some instruments. If you have time to do that, it'd be a fun project for your family. I kind of quickly try to do a rain stick with a paper towel roll and some popcorn kernels and just some regular masking tape. You can do this a lot better. You can decorate this using art supplies, ribbons, yarn. There are some beautiful examples of rain sticks that you can make. And um, this one's not the best, but my son and I, we had some rubber bands in a shoebox. And he kind of cut the rubber bands for me so that they would be um, a different thickness, so that they would make a different sound. So that's just an idea of some things that you could do at home um, to make some musical instruments. Put them in a little grocery bag so you have them ready. You can get to them quickly and um, you can bring those out anytime you're hearing some great music on this site or on our school websites or anywhere at all. Make your own. Um, send us in some videos and some pictures of your family having some fun with these instruments. We would love to see what you guys have come up with. Maybe you can email them to your a music teacher or to your principal or someone in your school that can get these set up for us so that we could see you guys having fun with these at home. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun. I'm sorry I was late and couldn't get everything together, but it was great to see you guys. Have a great week. Bye.